it'll be a wild guess what it goes for. I was right? just gonna say, do you wanna play that game of? Let, let's play that game, Jeff. Right. Um, so they're listed at 99,000. Offers are tomorrow, right? Um, it hasn't been listed for a very long time. It is kind of a cooler time of the year. Um, part of the issue is banks though, if this is a bank sale, they're usually sticky on their price. So it's rare to see them go for a lot less. Um, they'll usually just drop prices in small increments if that's the case. So. Well, tough to say how many offers come in, but yeah. I don't know. Hey guys, Matt McKeever here, and I'm just here with Jeff Weibel. You can see him there. Um, so we're just checking out this property on Clarence Street. Uh, due to what I think you'll catch on very quickly, we're not actually even able to view the inside of the property. We can only view the outside uh, because of fire damage and a few other issues with it. But I just the location's great because we just ended up buying that guy right there. And so to have I really like grouping my properties together. It just makes management so much easier and uh, it just makes your operations a lot more scalable. So anyways, me and Jeff are gonna walk around this property. I'll shoot some footage for you guys and you can check it out. But one of the first things that hit me about this property was, I'll throw up a photo that the listing agent used, but tell me if you can tell the difference. Um, so, just make sure I don't get hit by a car. So this is what the property actually looks like. Notice the two gaps there. Now I'll throw up the photo from the, the listing agent used. Tell me if you can spot the differences. Making a new roof, Jeff? <laughs> we always saw this roof from, uh, from yeah. the street last time. We were here. So I think that's a new roof. You can see no window there. And so an important thing to note is this lot that Jeff's walking on right here, this is actually a separate lot. So it's not actually even comes with the property. So that's why looking up on Geo Warehouse or the city zoning maps or whatever is so important, just so you get a feel for what the property actually consists of. Because right now, if you were to walk by this, it could seem like a massive sprawling lot because on both sides of it, the previous properties were knocked down. And even this back alley here used to be a separate lot. And none of this actually belongs to this property. So, you know, you really need to know what you're getting into. Um, so just looking over the fence. We can see it's looked like, it looks like they've had some squatters and stuff in the past. Um, you can see it looks like all the doors, all the windows are boarded up. Um, so you're gonna need pretty much all new windows everywhere. Uh, based on some of our initial research and the listing, we know that there was a fire at this property at one point. And honestly, you'll be really surprised by what just a simple Google of the street address that you're looking at can bring up. Just go a few pages deep into Google and check out it, and you'll often find out if there has been any uh, major crimes, any fires, any major disasters, any major issues with the city. A lot of that will pop up just on a really basic Google search. So you can see right there, that's probably been squatters. Um, just kind of set up a tarp, they had a little fire pit, threw all the garbage there. You know, overall the siding doesn't look terrible on it, at least in some parts. The older window, but at least it has a window there. Let's see. And you should really clean up all this stuff. You don't want that growing against your property. It's only going to damage the siding. Um, you know, vines are one thing, but to literally have trees growing up the side of your house, not desirable. Looks like though, at least could be wired up for two meters. That's kind of cool. I'm pretty sure at one point in time, this was a duplex. Offers are Thursday at noon. Okay. Not much written here. Yeah. Like the whole listing's pretty empty. Yeah. For data. So he, however, the listing agent did send a big package on this property that uh, you guys could have asked for. Yeah. So that is a fair point. Even though we can't actually get into the property, the listing agent did send us a pretty robust set of photos. The problem is photos still never really tell you the full picture. Um, you can get a rough idea of it, but it's really hard to get your bearings on what belongs to what unit, how big are these rooms actually. 
you know, is this a realtor that's being clever or cute with the angles of the photos, or is this a guy that just ran through it quick, snapped some photos and called it a day? Because that can really make a difference on what you read from the situation. Um, and like you're saying, we know this is going to be a gut, right? So yeah. We already know what we're getting into. Even if oh, it's trying to be it. cheap, maybe they don't want us. Yeah, they got boarded. Yeah. I just wondered what all those Science. said, but those are probably just notices from the city, state, and... Definitely. Yeah. Don't break in. Yeah. And you wanna, so this is what they this is what they had sent. So a lot of images. But being here, at least you can see the size of the property, and we kind of know what the comps are in the area. The ask price at the moment's 100k. Um, it's a power of sale. So yeah. So presumably the bank or whoever uh, was owed money for it's foreclosed on it. Um, yeah. It's interesting. I, Man, it'll be a wild guess what it goes for. I was right? just gonna so. say, do you want to play that game of? Let, let's play that game, All Jeff. Right. Um, so they're listed at ninety-nine thousand. Offers are tomorrow, right? Um, it hasn't been listed for a very long time. It is kind of a cooler time of the year. Um, part of the issue is banks, though. If this is a bank sale, they're usually sticky on their price, so it's rare to see them go for a lot less. Um, They'll usually just drop prices in small increments if that's the case. So, well, it's tough to say how many offers come in, but yeah. I don't know. I, one and a quarter. Yeah, I, I I definitely think there's a good chance of that. I'm gonna say one ten, and it's just gonna be a firm offer, and like we're it's gonna find out firm. right away. It'll yeah, it has to be. You gotta buy this in cash if you haven't figured that out yet. So. Yeah, but so you think someone's gonna buy it having never seen the inside? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, I don't yeah, know yeah, if nice I'm at that stage. Comp right here. Yeah, true. <laughs> um, but yeah, so anyways, that's uh, this Clarence Street property, guys. Uh, again, this is just one of those really quick run and gun videos that me and Jeff are trying to do more of. So if you enjoy them, let us know by smashing that like button over there. Hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. And uh, I'll see you on the next video. Thanks. Bye.